Well, hello, my friends. Uh, first, forgive my shakiness. Um, I'm trying to hold this uh, camcorder by the light bar. So, um, anyway, I wanted to show a couple of you, uh, especially CCT, uh, how I store uh, my extra food that I prepare for emergencies and stuff. But um, you can see I just took uh, some 2 by 4s right here and, um, and then I just counted how many cans which is seven I do 14 on a shelf uh, so that way it's two weeks worth of whatever that canned good may be whether it be the corned beef hash or sausage gravy or down there's chili and I have this in the closet and um, what is there, 50, 60 plus cans on this, and it holds the weight easily. Uh, and then I just have, uh, let me get up here, I just have a pipe strap and a molly holding it to the wall because, uh, you know, it can hold the weight. All you got to do is just keep it from falling forward, and if you built it correctly, uh, it won't fall forward. But anyway, here's just some of the preps that I do, like the Kipper Snacks, which are really good, and the Spam, lots of tuna, and we know you love tuna. Um, of course, we already went down through these, but let me show you. Uh, I still have more racks to make, and I haven't done it because of my health, but here's uh, canned chicken. There's two cans. Here's uh, canned roast beef. Right. Really good stuff. And there's just a ton of cans over here of peanut butter and Vienna sausages. Uh, those are really good. A good prep. We don't need a can opener or nothing. A little hot sauce and crackers. But uh, mainly right here is all the fruits. Uh, and I will make another shelf. So I have some other preps. Uh, let me um, I'll cut this and I'll be right back. Okay, so here are these, uh, these tubs. They're only like six inches tall. You can see them there. I like these. I put these under the bed. No one can see them. All right. So let me pull the lid off here. And you can see that we have these uh, instant mashed potatoes, which are really good. Uh, these pouches of refried beans. You just put them in the microwave or pan. Right. I like stuff that you don't have to use a can opener. And uh, nor rice sides, right? Or the pasta. There's pasta here, I think. Yeah, pasta. Uh, and uh, macaroni and cheese with the pouch of cheese. Oatmeal. All kind of stuff. There's cans of tuna or uh, pouches of tuna, mashed potatoes. Here's that soup I was telling you about. All right? You just add water. And here's dehydrated beans. These are really good. You just add water to those, and they're big, big. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, big uh, bag of meat. And um, so that's just some of the uh, preps that I keep for emergency situations. Um, let's look in this one. Look at there. There's a lot of top ramen soup in there. These are good. Um, I like to put uh, the tuna or the roast beef or the chicken with them or anything like that or you even cook them and drain the juice and put a can of chili with them. They're pretty good. And then lots of pastas. You can see, uh, I try to do a wheat pasta uh, because uh, it's a little more healthier. Plus, uh, I'm diabetic, so, you know. Anyway, there's some rows. So, uh, we'll uh, cut out and I'll be right back and show you the last part of it. Okay, so I use these little tubs here. You can see how tall they are. Okay, uh, as you can see here, I got 
the goodies, right? You know, these packages, you just add water. Most everything that I got is add water, like these. These are excellent. They, uh, you can see black onion, or black pepper and onion, hash browns. You just add water to right there. These are good with the spam and stuff like that. Got uh, biscuits, just add water. Lots of those. Of course, you need spice and stuff like that. We got lots of different spices. Right. Uh, even have milk. <clears throat> that milk right there, that lasts forever as long as you don't open it. The minute you open it, you got to put it in the fridge. All right. So that's just some stuff in there. Let me open the other one. Okay, lots of peanut butter. I'm gonna. I still haven't had everything sorted out, you know. But uh, here's lots of beans. Uh, the peanut butter is good for protein along with the beans. Then these huge cans of raviolis. Uh, they're pretty good. And um, for the spam and the the uh, dehydrated hash browns, have a can of the eggs. These are really good. They make excellent scrambled eggs. You can bake with this. Anything that you need eggs to bake with, this works great. Uh, there's some of that. And then I have uh, this. Uh, let me show you. I'll cut out. Okay, and here was the uh, food bucket. Uh, I don't have it, the food in it. We tried it out. I like it. But inside, I have pounds and pounds of rice. I got like 12 pounds of rice and 12 pounds of pickle bean. You can see they're full there. Lots of pastas as well. Uh, one of the most important things that I store uh, for prepping for emergencies and stuff is water. Uh, here's three of them right here. Uh, that's 15 gallons. I have two more, so I have 25 gallons of fresh water uh, all the time. So, um, so that's it. Okay, so here you can see this is uh, my everyday carry. I think I did a video on that once. Uh, and then this old pouch here with the nails and uh, knives and flashlights and it's got all kind of gear in it. And then my bug out bag. It's full. Lots of stuff. Here's another knife right here. And uh, of course my Husqvarna axe. I just finished that with linseed oil. These are for water bottles and inside there's a can, you know, a, a like a coffee cup or can that's tin and then uh, got everything here's a first aid kit uh, full blown you could do anything with this trauma everything um, so anyway I hope uh, y'all like it and enjoyed and if you have any questions uh, please don't hesitate to ask me uh, I've been doing this sorts of stuff for many, many, many years, pretty much all my life, hunting, fishing, camping. Uh, so I do most of this for uh, emergencies or, you know, I don't believe in any of that end of the world SHTF stuff, but um, you never know. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. This is AU Rebel. Take it easy. Bye.